I would say it's a good thing that I did take this program into consideration because it never happened to me in my past. It was never offered to me. And um, with the monitoring system they have, with the bracelet that they, they, they had put on me, um, the once a month that I come to report to probation, to see the judge, she interacts with me, asks me how are, how are things at home, how are things in your life, and it, it makes me feel like, you know, someone really cares and see how I am progressing. And how important is it? You know, it's, it's very important that we earmark uh, participants very early. So from arraignments on, we could get them services, can, you know, connected with services right away. So we can kind of like shepherd them through the process, the legal process, but also give them the tools to not come back into the legal process. Well, I think um, now there is like so much importance um, with these diversion courts, you know, providing treatment, you know, helping people who have addictions, whereas maybe like 20 years ago, the, you know, with the Rockefeller laws, they would, you know, be highly criminalized. And now we're getting people the treatment that they need. So what we do here at Arms Acres is we provide a lot of evidence-based treatment. Um, we do a lot of motivational interviewing, uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, a lot of medication-assisted uh, treatment therapy, which uh, you know is providing medications like Vivitrol or Suboxone to people who have an opiate disorder or a substance use disorder for alcohol. The most helpful part is in, during, in my program, each counselor has kind of a different method of teaching you things. You know, one counselor will uh, play videos and then when you discuss it, another counselor will have booklets that she hands out. We all read from it. And sometimes we just have an open discussion. Or we discuss uh, our problems and what happened, and that's about it. Um, when I do go, and the counselors, the social workers, they're all saying, if you know, if you're already taking drugs, and if you're here, then that means you need. So I go to treatment. It's uh, outpatient reflections, which means you check in like twice a week. Um, you get tested once a week to make sure you're not um, still like using. And then they'll report back to Queen's Task, which then will report back to the court. It actually opened my eyes to what could happen, what could have happened. Thank God it didn't happen. I didn't kill anybody. I actually hit a guardrail. Instead of, you know, I didn't hit a car, I didn't hit a person. And it opened my eyes to, to what actually drunk driving could do. I could have killed somebody, you know? So the program is, I talk with other people and I see other people's you know, points on, on things. I do an um, um, alcoholic group on Monday and I do uh, Thursday and Friday with DWI. And the DWI group helped me a lot because, it, like I said, hearing other people's views, it actually opens your eyes to things, you know? And they, I was lucky for getting, for getting arrested because I would have been drinking the next day. And the next day could have been worse, could have killed somebody.